two on one personally, and it's still legal in Sambo and Freestyle Judo, so why not use it? So for this one, you could do it with, with a traditional two on one arm grip, but it works a lot better if we come around back and we get a hold like right where the scapula is, okay? You can also do it off the belt, or you could do it you know, more Georgian grip style way to hang over here. For me, this tends to be the better way to do it. So play around with the grip a little bit and see which one works. The and I would agree with that a lot, guys, because that left hand there is a good, solid steering hand, anchor hand, whatever you want to call it. It really controls that scapula near shoulder. And it's, it's an easier grip to get to than fishing around for that other stuff. Yeah. And so. this one, I find, allows you to do this move on much bigger guys. Okay. So the grip I usually take is right about here in between the, the elbow and the, the wrist. You can also do it with a pistol grip like this or just a standard you know, judo grip. I like to get up here a little bit more control in the arm. Once we get that, basically what we're going to do is we're going to shove this through his legs. Okay? And the idea is I'm going to try and get my, his arm, my arm, and my head in between his legs. Probably not going to happen, but that gives you the big whip to, to flip the guy over. As I do that, this foot comes back to the side. Okay, some guys will try and come through there, but it's a little bit too hard to get leg, arms, and head in between there. So just stick it sideways like that. Okay, slide on your hip, jam everything in between, roll them over. Okay, so. And everybody, it is so squirrely it works. It really does work well. See what he's doing with that right arm that's so low on the sleeve? He's driving it through Mike's legs. And that's the, the, the big thing that's working here. And of course, the momentum of the body roll. And, you know, if I do go up on the elbow, it, it's really hard to do this move because I've got to pull that all back down there. So generally, about there is as high as I would go. So, so you're, you're, you're getting a pretty low sleeve grip there. There you go. Okay, so. It's a good example of what, what Coach Scott has always talked about, long grips versus short grips. You know, I'm still using a, a short grip on this one because I want to control the, the arm, okay? I don't want to be all the way up here because it's not going to work. Okay? I'm not going to be able to pull his shoulder through his legs. Although if you can, good for you. <laughs> okay, so this time I'm going to use the pistol grip, same move, okay, just a little bit easier to jam that hand through. And see the nice thing about this also, you end up rolling them over, you're right in a beautiful side control position, and you're right on him to hold him or continue on into a good ground fighting uh, controlling situation. See right there, start working. Do you wait for him to push? I mean, as soon as, if I know I want to do this move and I get that, if he gives me this, you know, I'll catch that and I'll try the foot sweep. The foot sweep doesn't work. Okay, he puts his foot back down, take the angle, right back through here, okay? And if I get him here, he's usually thinking, what the heck was that? So you just catch the arm, step over, and you know, we've got that nice thin arm lock there, or you can just pin him. Either way, the, the surprise factor is usually pretty big, so take advantage of it. And, and, and Eric, with, with you, because you're a 220 and heavy pound, good guy, a lot of times if you get that low sleeve grip, that really long low sleeve grip, and you can almost hang on the guy and kind of work that shoulder, and as he's kind of trying to get out of the way, that's when you can just catch up with him. Okay. So you kind of park yourself there on that, on that low sleeve grip, that two-on-one, and that's where you can really catch him there.